Hi, Libra, getting ready to do your reading. Let's see what is going on for you guys. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right. You have the card of Vision, Gemini, the Past, and Exploration. Okay. So the Gemini card says cross pollination or cross pollinates. South node is past and then ninth house exploration. So there's something about a vision or something that you want to create in the future that might have something to do with a Gemini or looking in the past, looking at something from the past and incorporating it into the future. So, or exploring something that you came across. It's almost like combining skills. It could be working with another person or like taking two things and kind of blending them. So a vision could be, you know, work, career, love, whatever it is that you want to create. So it's interesting. Okay. Put that there. What is going on for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I get some of you working hard on something, maybe taking time in the evening or sometime. I feel like some of you want time alone too, to kind of just rest and meditate. But as I split the deck, look what I see. I see you, Libra, and a Gemini. So there's a significant Gemini for someone who may be coming back from the past, who may want to communicate how they feel, page of cups. But I'm getting like this energy in the evening, wanting to relax, wanting to just, you know, re watch TV or rest. And I get someone could be showing up or communicating with you that you weren't really expecting to hear from. Yeah, lovers, yep. Might be a Leo, could be somebody who is a little bit nervous to talk to you. I feel like they do have some sort of idea or vision for the future for the two of you. Yeah, they want to work together, and they have these really beautiful ideas with the sun. You're not really sure about this, but they want to move something forward. So this person is coming to you and telling you, like, let's work together. And it could be on a relationship. It could be that the two of you get a, along really well. You may have complementary, I can't say that, skills. So you guys complement one another. Yeah, it could create something new. You guys both have a lot of knowledge. But then there is this stomping and thinking, I don't know if I should do this. I don't know if I should make this move. You may need to think it over. What is the Eight of Swords? It would end one cycle and begin something new. It's the unknown. It could be with a fire, uh, sorry, an earth sign, a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So it's kind of like there's this idea, person, This they're coming towards you. And it's like everything looks like it could work. The two of you could make this work. It could be, you know, a great partnership, a great um, love story. You guys have a lot in common, but you're just not sure because of how it's going to, I don't know, the outcome. It might be that maybe other people don't care for this person, or maybe there's, um, you know, like maybe your friends or family don't like this person, or you're just not sure, like maybe you're going to have to move or make some major life changes, but... What does Spirit want you to know? What does Spirit want you to know? Practicality. So maybe you're thinking this isn't practical. Because it's saying, I, I'm trying to balance my head and heart. Oh, so you're going to wonder if this is a good idea. But that's what I'm saying here. But you're thinking more of a practical. Well, that's a Libra, isn't that? That is, you guys. Thinking about like all the pros and cons. Let's go to the yes, no deck. Because there is that, um, it's the timing. There's a card in here that talks about the pros and cons. It did come out and someone's extended about how to decide about a situation. So what would you tell Libra about this? Yes, no. What, how are they supposed to know, Spirit? They think this is a yes. They think this is a good idea. It's, it's cute because, or funny, because I see like everything working here in the tarot. It does look like it's a good idea. You're the one who's stopping it. So... If this is a business idea, if this is a partnership, um, give it another look or give it a chance. Something about this person, possibly, that maybe, I don't know if you are worried about them or what about this person? Let's make up my lap. This person is fun and it was love at first sight. 
but you do know this person again they may have Gemini in their chart but again they're coming to you and saying no we can make this work Libra we can work together we'll have a lot of fun this person really does adore you this person is passionate they may have brunette hair they also enjoy tarot and they are very trustworthy it might be a love from long ago okay wow so it's like something is showing up in your life you're ready for this you're ready to take the next step or even leap in your life and go for this opportunity what is going on for you what is going on for you okay play hard was about to come okay wait balance and play hard okay it's not all about work libra you have to add because i can see here you're like you're overthinking thing everything's about logic you don't have time to have fun no have fun explore this opportunity don't just shut the door and say you know what i don't know this is not gonna you know this isn't practical you need to have more fun the fool so your reading is also telling you to have that's another thing that spirit wants you to know is that it's time to have some fun to lighten up i think this person would be a good support system for you let me put it that way instead of saying like oh they'll take care of you or they'll you know you don't want to be taken care of but they'll be a good support system what would this person like to say to libra they may have trouble with intimacy but i feel like that's more you all of a sudden okay but they wonder how you feel they don't know what you want but they did save all your messages and they don't want to let you go and they admire you libra it's weird because it's like the two of you really balance each other out because at the beginning of the reading it's like this person has all the answers and they're coming in and saying libra we can make this work if we do it this way and you know you're the practical one i'm the fun one it's like you guys balance each other out is what i'm seeing and this way in this way they're like you can see that they're more, more vulnerable in this deck and they they don't want to scare you off they don't want you to say no they've been waiting for this moment to talk to you to tell you that they like you they admire you they admire your skills they admire um, they probably admire the way you are practical and you do think things through you're grounded and you're smart but um, they do have trouble opening up but they want to know what you feel so instead of them just coming towards you and saying you know i love you and you know pouring their heart out they have trouble with that so they're trying to figure out what you how you feel go on have fun with this person Libra. that's what i'm going to tell you go on have a good time with this person somebody just said i don't have time i have to work i work too much well then go out for a short coffee date or something you're afraid of getting your heart broken You'd, you'd rather just avoid the situation and protect yourself in your heart. This might be an earth sign, definitely towards Virgo Capricorn, or again, that's your more logical, practical side where you're thinking more about your money. Maybe even burned in the past. Maybe there's been um, cheating or something in other situations. So I just kind of see you, because I'm kind of clarifying the moon. What is the unknown? What are you afraid of? Being hurt again? That this isn't going to, you know be worth your time or investment what else does Libra need to know about this person this connection you know you think it's too good to be true or that's not going to work out but actually Libra it could work out you are on the right path you have the skills you have the ability to make this work with this person and there is a beautiful relationship here waiting for you there could be Aquarius or Taurus involved. But this person has a lot of passion for you. This could be a business venture or again a job that leads to love. But I feel like this person is already in love with you. And it's kind of however you're willing to approach this connection is that's how they're going to be like they're going to kind of wait for you they don't want to scare you off someone else had that same message i think it was scorpio there are some similarities between this the scorpio reading and the scorpio extended is what i'm seeing here but um libra
I feel like love is right around you, Scorp of uh, Libra, and you don't want to get hurt again. You're tired of third parties. You're tired to be tired of being screwed over. So now you're out leaving yourself out in the cold when there this there is this beautiful connection around you that you don't really want to see or acknowledge, but it's there or it's coming in, Libra. Again, the card said it could be a Gemini for some of you specifically. You're more about your money. See, Scorpio had some of the same messages. Someone wants to be with you, but you're focused on your money. They're focused on you. You're focused on your coins. And you're not either looking at this opportunity that way or you're, you know, ignoring it altogether. You don't want to move forward. The person might be a Cancer. I did just see the King of Cups in this deck. I'm getting harvesting or money. I feel like you put a lot of effort in, into your own, yourself, your business, your money, and you're like you don't want to undo that you don't want to go backwards and this is just you feel like this is too much of an unknown to take this leap with this person you might lose something in the process or you just don't know what's on the other side or maybe if someone doesn't like this person but look at i do see them sending messages to you i feel like this person really cares about you and loves you could be a virgo but i do see them longing for you or again sending you a message sending you a gift giving you something libra I'm going to extend this one and go into this a little bit deeper to see where this takes us. So I'm going to put the link below you guys. Have a great week and I'll talk to you soon.